Good morning, fam. It is Tuesday, March the 5th. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> it is currently 8.18. Right. <laughs> we gonna bypass all of that. We on our way to work, okay? I am on my way to work before I pick you guys up. I did have my breakfast, which is, or was, the leftover smoothie that I had from uh, the smoothie that I made one yesterday. So overall, I was able to make quite a bit. I had a smoothie yesterday, husband had one as well, and then this is the third smoothie that um, was made from the batch that I made yesterday. So I'm really excited about that. I do need to invest in some more of these cups so that I can start prepping my smoothies to just kind of grab and go for days when I am working uh, in the office as well as when I'm sliding to the gym if I want to have a smoothie prior to the gym you know so on and so forth so this is on the to-do list to purchase more of these slender I want this particular kind it don't got to be this brand because I think I got this from Timu but I want this size. This size is ideal for me. I also have my T-Mobile Tuesday bag here packed nice and thicky thick, okay? I have yesterday's leftovers, which were chef's kiss. Whoo, them jerk turkey wings <laughs> turned out so good. I was so impressed with myself. Oh. Before I go, I did reschedule my appointment with the ortho orthodontist like I told y'all I would. I bumped it up to next Wednesday. I was gonna do Monday, but I was like, um, let's go ahead and switch it up a little bit and do Wednesday. So we are on the books for Wednesday at one o'clock. And at this point, I'm just trying to decide whether or not it's best for me to work from home the entire day, or if I should just come in the office in the morning and leave out you know 10 15 20 minutes before my appointment and then come home because ain't no going back to work once my appointment is done like who do that that's good so <laughs> so i'm trying to decide that hopefully i come up with some sort of decision by the time i make it to the office so that can be one of the first orders of business that i handle being that i'll let my hr manager as well as my direct manager know what is gonna be next week because we definitely gonna get the ball rolling on this and i am hoping that after i have this first time patient appointment at the orthodontist office that i leave with a date of when i can get these goddamn teeth pulled so that i can you know make adjustments for that paul has already said he gonna take off I, all i gotta do is just let him know they're gonna put me under for the surgery because it's so intense my teeth are so impacted in there i don't think there's any other way other than to put me to sleep hell why would i want to be awake for that i think that would low-key traumatize me them just trying to you know what i mean like they in there in that baby my teeth don't want to leave that's why i have to evict them that's why i said 2024 is the year of eviction for these teeth they gotta go good afternoon fam it is 1 34 and i am dying to get to my lunch husband uh text me earlier today we had to pack two tupperware so this is my turkey wing or a portion of my turkey wing and this is the mashed potatoes gravy and mac and cheese mashed potatoes and the mac and cheese y'all uh oh don't make it fall girl baby the mac and cheese is creamy y'all hear that ain't no dry mac and cheese on this side of the center. not this time anyway great value tried to play me last time but i had to doctor it up and show it what i was working with mm. Thing I ain't make them yams. 
good thing I did not make them yams because baby <laughs> yeah it's gone it's gone turkey wing definitely demolished I don't know if y'all can see it but oop they're gonna bone they go to the other side yeah demolished like it was so freaking delectable a culinary treat I'm just so impressed with myself like who am I like who am I turning into because I could cook before but it's like I be cooking you know what I mean and that's the difference it's the difference between I cook and I be cooking and baby the last like year or two the Lord has had a strong calling on my life in that kitchen I'm just another black man caught up in the mix Trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents Just cause I'm a freak don't mean that we can hit the sheets Maybe I can see that you don't recognize me I'm Shock G, the one who put the satin on your panties Never knew I go to that. five below when I get off We gotta go to five below when I get off Now, I didn't have y'all uh, with me I had told y'all I was gonna call y'all back When I was talking to the associate at five below But I really wish I would have had y'all with on the line with me because i promise i asked this lady where the airpod cases were she took me to them which we were standing like a couple uh paces away from them i'm looking for my airpods now i asked this lady where the cases were i showed her my airpod case she recommended this one <sighs> this don't fit it's giving the same vibe that the one that I got from Amazon that I still need to take back, by the way, is giving. So, no ma'am, no ma'am. I'm going to get my money back. Ma'am, it is 518, and you already know the vibes. We are off of work. Thank God. Today was a pretty good day. And I'm happy that we are approaching the halfway mark of the week. And that's just that for work. Now, let's talk let, let's double back round yonder to these teeth okay let's let's talk about it for a second yesterday of course as you guys know i took y'all along with me went to mid dentistry um for our first time patient appointment i was expecting that when i got there they would do some x-rays in which they did and um they would pretty much set me up for an appointment as long as the coins was coining and the insurance was insurancing to have an extraction done because prior to making my first time appointment at Mint, I asked them if they did extractions in-house or if they referred, you know, like outsourced, you know, a separate company for extractions, like a separate ortho or ortho surgeon for extractions, right? Asked all of that. I was told that they do them in-house, so I was expecting after my first appointment to be put on the books to have these here teeth taken out, right? Not teeth, teeth, okay? Right, but when I went to the appointment yesterday, after they did their full exam and did the x-ray, they told me that my teeth were too impacted for them to do the extraction, extraction in the office because they don't have the tools that are needed in order to get my teeth out because i told y'all they deeply rooted up in that thing they do not want to come out i don't have no problems with them if you're new here i am not wanting to do this due to pain thank god i'm wanting to do this because i feel that it's high time that i have my wisdom teeth taken out they're growing down relatively long and i don't want to want to run the risk especially at the bottom of having future nerve damage because my teeth have the potential to grow over my uh some of the nerves that are down you know in my jawline area not to mention i'm ready i'm ready for them to come so let's go back to the appointment right they proceed to tell me at the appointment that they can't do the extraction and that they're going to schedule me for they're going to give me a referral for uh another office mint orthodontics right now mind you i've never been through this process before so what may be common to some people isn't common to me let me just throw that out there so at the end of my appointment which by the way while i was there they did give me a cleaning no cavities um 
no issues with my teeth, anything like that. They gave me a cleaning, a polishing, and with PPO Dental Insurance at Mid Mint Dentistry, they take a mold of your teeth to make this plastic tray and you get free whitening with PPO Dental Insurance. I do have a PPO policy. And so I walked away with, you know, the little goodies, toothbrush, toothpaste, lip balm. I showed you guys that yesterday. And I also walked away with a whitening kit, which I have not used just yet. I honestly don't feel like I need to use it. Yeah, so I need to use it though before these teeth come out, okay? Because the tray not gonna quite fit the same, love, because it's gonna be some missing, all right? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. As I was checking out, they told me that they printed out my referral. They gave it to me. I showed y'all that yesterday. And uh, they said, okay, well, you're scheduled for, I actually scheduled an appointment. Remember, remember, because now we catching up to current events. So I can tell y'all what happened today. So I scheduled the appointment because she was like, it'll be your first time appointment. I'm like, okay, cool. Dots, it's not, it's not clicking. It's not clicking up here. But I'm like, okay, maybe I got to show my face the first time. They're going to get some more of my insurance money because they've never seen me before. Okay, whatever I got to do to get me one step closer to getting these teeth out and getting to my straightening option, right? So, schedule the appointment, then reschedule the appointment for next week. Told y'all that. Y'all know that. So, today, I get I get an email from men saying, you have an appointment on September the 11th. And I'm like, surely, this lady heard me say, next Wednesday, which I believe is the 13th, March the 13th, right? So, I get some free time at work. I call them. I'm like, excuse me. I just want to clarify and uh, confirm my appointment that I scheduled at the end of my first time patient appointment with the ortho office <clears throat> for next Wednesday because the email is saying September the 11th. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. We got to get these, these teeth got to go. Why y'all keep trying to prolong it? It's like you and my wisdom teeth is in cahoots. I'm ready for them to come out, okay? So she said, oh, no, ma'am that's not for your ortho appointment that is for your next cleaning we schedule you you know every six months for your cleaning After we got that squared away i asked her if she could confirm my appointment for um the ortho office i said that's where they'll do the extraction right she said no ma'am that's where you'll go for your aftercare for like your straightening option we referred you to an outside you know, a, a place of business outside that's not connected to mint dentistry for your actual extractions. I said, well, didn't, did we schedule an appointment for that? She said, no, ma'am, you'll have to schedule your own appointment for that. I thank God that all of this took place this afternoon because baby, I would have showed up to that mint dentistry orthodontist office yesterday for, I mean, next week for nothing, absolutely nothing. So I went ahead and canceled the appointment for the ortho that we rescheduled for next Wednesday. And I called the uh, place where they referred me to to get my wisdom teeth extracted, which by the way, they seem to be a fairly reasonable place. Y'all, I have really, really high hopes that I'm about to do this thing. I but I'm gonna go ahead and go. That's husband calling now, child. This is actually his second time calling me. I declined him to talk to y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. Y'all are all caught up. I hope y'all had a fantastic Tuesday. I'll see you guys when I make it to the Good morning, fam. How are you? It is Wednesday, March the 6th. Happy Wednesday. NASCAR track like one thing about it two things for sure the people that get up early like early on these highways don't be playing in Houston like everybody's on a mission everybody is driving well above the, the speed limit but I love it because everybody's in unison and I'm not even gonna complain about it okay because regular schmegula degula traffic gives ghetto vibes going and coming every single day so i ain't complaining i'm just saying sis 
be having to keep up, okay? But anywho, good morning. It is 5.29. I am up early. I feel good. I woke up at 4.45, 4.55, I'm sorry. I feel good. I went to sleep early. The last clip um, that I showed you guys was me editing on the couch. That's all that I did. I came in, I showered. Ooh, excuse me. Came in, showered, threw on my thermals, honey, because yes, they still have me in a chokehold, okay? And that was it. I just, I just chilled. Me and Benji rocked out a little bit. Husband, <clears throat> excuse me, was watching the basketball game and Zay was doing what he do, putting on the concert and playing the game, child. And we all just kind of vibed out and did our own thing on yesterday. And sometimes it be needed, okay? Especially when you all up under one roof. Sometimes people just got to separate and go in their respective corners to gather themselves. And I respect it and, and love that we do that on occasion, you know, just give each other our space. But anyway, I digress. We're on our way to the gym actually we're down the street from the gym i did not check the crowd meter you know what because it don't even matter i'm pulling up anyway i'm pulling up anyway this is my third workout of the week will be lord willing if i can get through it third workout of the week since it's on day four a no energy drink i don't have any uptime uh but husband had two more celsius in the refrigerator so i could have definitely grabbed one that's a little self-control because it's early and normally i would have went for it but i just need a i just need a cold turkey break like i need a Hello, hello, we are moving and grooving on our way to work. It is now 7.55. I just paused um, Debbie at Our Circle Plus. I'll put her channel on the screen now. Hey, how are you? Uh, she has posted quite a few videos that I have not had time, excuse me, to watch. So I said this morning that I was going to make sure that I caught up on all of her content today please check out debbie over at our circle plus again i'll put her channel name on the screen now and i'll also be sure to link her in the description box down below i have my smoothie here i also have my t-mobile tuesday bag here packed some leftovers which is uh the rest of the turkey the jerk turkey with some mac and cheese. I left the mashed potatoes and gravy for Zay because he had some yesterday. He really enjoyed it. Uh, um, and that's it. We're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna eat for tonight. I wanted to also give y'all an update on our water system. I don't know if you remember, but a couple vlogs ago, I was like, y'all, I got to see if I can get somebody to come out and uh, service our water system because I noticed that our water was giving chlorine it was smelling like chlorine a little bit and i also noticed that my face started breaking out well come to find out child i'm so thankful that my husband noticed this but come to find out the like i don't even want to call it a machine it's like this little tub thing you have seen me pour salt into it before but it was out of salt and when there's no salt in the bin right and i don't know somehow it filters in and does something to the water i don't know okay don't give me the line but what i do know is that we need it in order for the water to be soft and we had none like it was so empty so me and husband said we have to do a better job of making sure that we keep salt in that little container thing and again y'all have seen excuse me y'all have seen me not only purchase salt for our water filtration system but y'all have also seen me or seen husband rather not me seen husband pour the salt bags into 
the little bucket container yeah, things that was the problem y'all the water got hard when the salt ran out and we have really really hard water in our area and so the first telltale for me is the smell the second telltale is the like quality the feel of the water because we have soft water it feels different from hard water from hard, from water that's not filtered right it's like very sip, slippery silky it feels amazing on the skin the third telltale is that i start having skin issues what i mean by skin issues is that i'm breaking out i'm experiencing like sensitivity like a little bumps like it'd be a whole thing right and i knew it wasn't anything that i ate because my diet hadn't changed um, so that's why I was like, I got to get somebody out to look at it because something's not right. And it turned out that it was just a very quick and inexpensive fix. And that was that we needed to put more salt in the water filtration little bucket bin thing for lack of understanding what the hell it's actually technically called. It's just like a black bin. <laughs> when it got some bags of salt and the bags of salt are relatively inexpensive. They're like, mm, I don't know, three, four bucks at home depot and our uh bin when it's empty takes about five to six bags so we need to make sure that we're checking that on a monthly basis because sis cannot have okay we can't have this so now we're in recovery mode my skin is in recovery mode we're trying to bounce back so i was thinking this morning while i was in the sh in the shower freshening up excuse me that i'm gonna go back to my turmeric water i'm gonna go back to my acv which i'm using acv on my face right now apple cider vinegar if you're like what i'm using apple cider vinegar on my face as a toner on the days that i exfoliate which are monday wednesday saturday so i'm also going to start drinking turmeric making like a turmeric mask because that helps with blemishes and you know fading dark marks and stuff like that so that way i can get my face back to where it used to be sometimes it'd be like that i mean it is what it is i'm just glad that we found what the issue was with our water filtration system so that i can be on the right track because correcting my skin that's not a problem that ain't no big old thing if you've been here with me for a while you know i went on a slight little journey when my face started breaking out i was like uh 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 hold on y'all let me do this ginger this turmeric that make my own little concoction here there and in no time my face had cleared up so i know what to do i just had to get to the root of the problem because me making all these concoctions and stuff like that if my water isn't right and this is just for me and my skin, I have to have filtered water. I can't put hard water on my skin because I'm gonna have issues from head to toe. It's not just gonna be my face. It's gonna be reflective on my face, but it's not just gonna be my face, right? So now that we found that, I can go into the other stuff. I just didn't wanna hop into the other stuff without addressing the issue, you know what I mean? That's like putting on perfume and you must be. Get to the root, get in the bath. Okay. Demons just got out of the can. I gave my bro in advance. Love is just not in my plan. It is 1.43. I am on lunch. I just got off the phone with the oral surgeon's office. Um, they called me. I didn't answer. They were calling back with information about my benefits and what my portion is expected to be for the extraction. When I called back, sis said her system crashed and to give her about an hour. So hopefully by the time I pick you guys up, when I'm off, I will have information about scheduling. Yeah. Of the turkey wing, here is my mac and cheese. Ooh. Mm. Baby, it's still creamy. Good afternoon, fam. It is 5:30, and you already know the vibe. So we are off of work. Thank God. Well, today was dry. It was slow. It was cold. 
but it was productive and I'm thankful that it's over. And I pray you guys had a fantastic day as well. We are inching our way closer and closer to Friday and I am so ready for it. Um, Yeah, y'all, so I'm sure you're wondering that I hear from the oral surgeon's office. Yes, I did. <laughs> and based on how I'm acting right now, child, I gave your girl some good news, okay? After my insurance, I only have to pay out of pocket $547 for all four of my wisdom teeth to be extracted, evicted up out of here. I'm thinking that I'm going to do it on the 18th which is a Monday. I do want to consider my job. I do have payroll coming up. Today is the 6th. It needs to be processed and finished. Well, it needs, excuse me, it needs to be processed by the 14th, right? I need to have, have it completed. I need to have all of the payments completed by the 11th. So, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I want to play it safe rather than sorry to allow myself time to not rush to get back if I don't need to. I'm really trying to account for what if something happens? What if I'm not feeling good? What if I'm still on uh, pain meds the next day and I can't come in or I can't work, right? Can't do a little work from home situation. I got to be off in totality. I don't want to have to worry about payments or worrying about rushing to get back. You know what I mean? If that makes sense because of you know this pain the uh, mm -mm, yeah ain't nobody got time so the best thing to do is to wait until after payments are done two weeks if my healing goes accordingly after i get my teeth extracted my wisdom teeth extracted that is then i can go back to mint dentistry but the orthodontist side of the street okay and start the ball rolling for my Invisalign and or my braces but y'all I'm doing it like I'm <laughs> yesterday I was just talking about going for what I want going for what I want whatever that may be so thankful right. to be able to take you guys along with me for the journey so that's just that on that I'm on my way to the crib well actually no I'm on my way to Subway child i don't know if y'all have been watching the news lately but there are a lot of restaurants that have been giving deals out the wazoo okay pizza hut sent me an email saying i get a i get a free large pizza crispy cream like yesterday was giving away two free donuts uh to uh from the 6th until the 10th subway brought back their bogo uh wendy's with the app is doing um a free cheeseburger with the purchase of a dollar like they just they just throwing food y'all way okay <laughs> now y'all like i'm not about to partake in the subway but they just throwing food in y'all way like what <laughs> I don't know, child. I don't know. But I am going to partake in this BOGO. Me and Bay are going to do the buy one, get one free. And then Zay is going to get the second sandwich from his buy one, get one free. And the reason being is because out of the three of us, Isaiah's the only one that don't mind reheating a sandwich. I told y'all, he weird like that. He don't like spaghetti, but he'll reheat a sandwich with condiments already on. Make it make sense, child. UPS pulled up to my house with 51 million custom ink boxes because what? All of those shirts that I ordered that I was telling y'all that I typically order for my church, they came in. And this year, unlike the previous years, I was told to create and order shirts for our Beaumont campus, which is in Texas. It's just another like smaller satellite location. And San Antonio I'm hesitant because they're not actually located in San Antonio they're like on the outskirts of San Antonio but y'all for, for the sake of this conversation San Antonio okay well I ordered our designed and ordered our shirts for Houston and Beaumont that's what arrived today I need to by the end of business to hell by the end of the day by the end of the before nightfall okay because hell the day is over with all right <laughs> before nightfall i need to go ahead call custom ink 
and placed the order for San Antonio shirts. reached the end of this vlog thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up if this is your first time here and you stuck with me for this long consider yourself fam so hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.